Hey, it's Paige again. It's um, October 1st, 2012, and um, today was my transition day at the office, and um, it went well. But let me give you some of the background. Um, I think the last time I talked was uh, September 3rd, and um, it was um, a lot's happened since then. Um, the firm hired a uh, psychologist who was very well qualified. qualified. Um, I was worried about him because he was primarily practiced as a, a sex therapist, and I didn't want that to be the emphasis of his presentation for my transition. But I needn't worried. Um, he wanted to meet me. I spent an hour and a half with him on the Friday the 14th. Um, and found him to be really wonderful. He was really quite sympathetic and knowledgeable and understanding and uh, compassionate. And uh, I walked out of his office um, very comfortable with whatever he would do. And um, he made some suggested changes in my letter that day, um, very minor. Um, and so I took it home and worked on it, sent it back to him, and he said it was perfect. And um, what the firm did was they had him um, on Friday. Uh, they On Thursday they announced that there would be a mandatory meeting on Friday at 3 o'clock. And at that meeting, um, the managing partner who I've been working with got up and said they were there to discuss a major life event in the lives of one of their colleagues. And then announced that Paige was going to transition to the female gender. And um, there was a few other short remarks, and then um, she read, the managing partner read my letter, um, which is, was substantially the one I read to you on the air a couple of days ago. I think I'm third. I'm not sure. Um, but I know I've read it to you. And um, the psychologist then did a presentation of... Um, what being transgendered is, what being transsexual is, um, pretty much the same, but that they weren't being a transvestite or a cross-dresser. Um, he distinguished between those characterizations, if you will, and he um, also said it had nothing to do with sexual orientation, which I, in my experience is true. Um, it hasn't changed. Um, and then he went on to talk about many other aspects and how hard it is for people. Um, I wasn't there. I was home. I was getting permanent nails, which I have now, acrylic nails. I also have um, a driver's license with my feminine picture on it. It still says M, but um, I have the doctor's certificate now, and tomorrow I'm going down to... Um, get that transaction and what I'll do is I'll get a temporary tag with my old, a temporary printout with my old uh, license and I'll punch a hole in my license and uh, with that in the paper will show, uh, it would be good and um, then in about another seven days I'll receive um, my regular Colorado driver's license with my feminine picture and an F under sex. So um, that's exciting. But anyway, um, so um, after he finished his talk, he asked if there were questions, and apparently there were a few questions, uh, not too many. Uh, and um, he went back and uh, then walked through the office, um, briefly entering each office and asking the people if they had any private questions they would like him to answer. And um, today Chris told me... Um, Chris is the man I've been mentoring, um, that he had a few questions. Uh, he thought he was excellent. I got a lot of emails over the weekend from people who attended, um, and I also got some emails from people in our other offices who were notified by email, and uh, the firm attached my transition letter and a letter um, from the psychologist, which basically uh, repeated what was at the... Um, his PowerPoint presentation, gave him his name and phone number and email address and said he was available to talk to any of them. Um, 
And then I, you know, I know a woman that, who was in our firm, um, who was there, and I saw, talked to her, I chatted with her afterwards, and she said it went well. And then uh, the following day I actually encountered um, another woman who was there, um, one of the secretaries, and she said it went very, very well, and she was very proud of the job the firm had done, and somewhat surprised how supportive they were. And um, which is very nice. And uh, I had a hard time sleeping last night. And I had a hard time sleeping on Friday night before it happened, so I'm tired tonight. But the um, I went into the office uh, about ten, a little after ten today. Um, and when I walked into the office, um, the receptionist looked up and looked at me and said, "May I help you?" which was a perfect greeting for me. Um, and then I said, Chantel, it's me. And uh, she got up and gave me a hug. <laughs> and uh, Everybody was wonderful. Um, there were a few people who I would say were uncomfortable. Um, nobody was unfriendly. Um, everybody said hi to me. But some people said hi and walked on by. Uh, a lot of other people stayed, stayed, stood and talked with me, or I sat down at their, um, in their office or at their workstation and talked to them. I tried to make it around the office and see everybody. Um, there were a few people I didn't see, a few partners I didn't see, um, but by and large I saw everyone. And uh, somebody's asked me to have coffee with them tomorrow to talk about some things, personal things, she said. And uh, a wonderful young female attorney asked me to have lunch with her on Friday. Uh, so we're going to have lunch on Friday, and um, it's over. When I say it's over, I mean it's over in some ways. Um, and this is just the way I feel today. I could feel differently tomorrow, but um, coming out at work and in your life and making the decision to live full-time and actually implementing that decision, to me, feels like the biggest hurdle in my transition. Um, in many ways, I think my psychologist feels my transition is complete, um, and I do too. Um, by that, I don't mean that I'm not going to have the surgery when I can. But I mean that um, the decision to have the surgery is something that um, I will make and I will go and it'll happen. It'll be done. It'll be done. Um, it's a physical thing which I don't perform. I just uh, acquiesce into, if you will, or make a decision. But the decision to transition and to present everywhere as a woman and to come out as a woman to all of your co-workers, to all of your friends, um, to all of your past friends and professional associates in this girl's life is a much bigger hurdle. And um, I'm glad I took it. It's wonderful. And, and the women at work were very supportive. I got some wonderful emails today after I talked with them. So um, I'm very happy. I um, shared it at my fellowship meeting tonight that I had uh, transitioned at the office. And uh, I also called some people over the weekend um, who were important to me uh, and told them personally. Um, and, and those phone calls were basically very gratifying. So, as I said, when I told the managing partner, the cat's out of the bag, it's a done deal, I can never take this back. I can never go back to just being a guy. Um, it just can't happen. And I'm happy. So, I'm going to continue to make these videos. They'll probably be less frequent. Um, if somebody has any questions, they would like me to things they would like me to talk about uh, aspects of transitioning that I may not have mentioned um, because maybe they weren't tough for me, but uh, then maybe you might find them difficult yourself. I'll be happy to share whatever I can. Of course, as I said many times. All I have to share here is my experience and my um, hope and, and how I felt. What I did, 
when I did it, how I felt when I did it, and the results. And I'll be happy to share that with any girl who would like to know. I'm going to start voice lessons soon. Um, but um, I think the challenge is going to be to, to settle into a new routine as a woman. It'll be different. I can never do things again. These, um, I think subconsciously I wanted them so I wouldn't have the option of uh, running to the store as a man or going to the gym as a man on any certain day. Um, I changed my gender marker at the gym last uh, Friday, and uh, I need to look into Social Security and uh, my federal retirement and a few other things. I'm not sure that that all changes at this point. Um, I don't know what OPM does, but I will find out. Anyway, um, I want to thank you for all your support. You've been wonderful, and yeah, I hope you continue to be wonderful, and I continue to hope that you find me helpful. And um, I will let you know again. I'll check back in a month or so and tell you how things have gone. Okay? Okay. Everybody be careful. Okay? You no longer have those male privileges of safety and security that we enjoyed when we were presenting as male. So please be careful. And as always, stay pretty. Okay? Love you all. Bye-bye.